Yeah, I'm saying this was when I was five, and I used to get my mum to bed, I was always fighting in the dark. And my mum got sick of this. Now, I got a bit sick of it because it was often quite sweaty in her bed, but never mind. <laughs> there, were, there were no monsters in the bed, so it was fine. And I remember one night I went through to the bed and she got really angry and said, Graham, my mother was Irish, six foot tall, ginger haired, red headed, mad Irish woman. She said, Graham, if you get out of bed again, the bogeyman will get you. I said, Bogeyman? She said, yeah, it's a bogeyman. I said, what's a bogeyman do? She said, he lives under your bed. I said, there's a, there's a man under my bed. She said, what a weird place for a man. <laughs> Taking in lodgers. You know? And I said, what's he going to do to me? And she just looked at me and in a really menacing voice she said, he'll do nasty things to you. <laughs> and I thought, no! <laughs> so I got a stick out the garden. I went upstairs and thought, I'm going to sort the bogeyman out. <laughs> I went, die, bogeyman, die! I rolled my dirty socks up, put them underneath, try and gas him out. We used, we used to have a pit bull terrier in our house called Rex, who was this big monster chap dog. He cut his nose and go, my name's Rex. I'll bite you on the bar. <laughs> big dog. And I got him upstairs. Rex, Rex, come on, Rex, Rex. Rex came upstairs, got in the bedroom. Rex, bogeyman. And he wouldn't go into the bed and go, bogeyman. And he still wouldn't go to the bed, so I got him. And I forced Rex under the bed. And he still wouldn't go under, so I lifted his tail up. And I got a pencil and went, wow!